Hello, hello. I'm making some dinner, so I figured I'd cook with y'all. This is hamburger. We're making meatloaf. I got my boiling water for my salt potatoes. We're going to do this thing. I'm watching Santa Claus 2. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Santa Claus. Sorry, people, y'all. We gotta watch this. <laughs> I love when he drinks the hot cocoa. And he's like, Whoa! Me love hot cocoa! <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the phone shaking. Oh, I can't. This is too funny. Uh, oh, here we go. Real quickly. See if I can hold still. He's saying, drink it, drink it. Here we go. And it's odd. Ooh. Oh my God, I love this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I like Coco. <laughs> it's great we got some state fair salt potatoes i don't know about y'all but i always wash my potatoes all right we got our salt potatoes let's add the salt all right these are called salt potatoes state fair new york state fair salt potatoes and I, I want, I don't like salt, but I need enough salt so you can taste it in the potatoes. Okay. I think that's good. And a trick to go with the potatoes. Wait a second, I'm going to tell you. All right, y'all. Yes, this is my brand new refrigerator. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> um, Don't mind everything. But this cottage cheese with chive oh let me see if i can focus with chive is so good okay make potatoes you know i usually put sour cream don't put the sour cream get the butter on there put some of this on there mm, 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 mm. this is really good chicken this is sesame chicken from wegmans very delicious very delicious there you had a little sneak peek inside my fridge <laughs> Here's my freezer. It's pretty bare right now, but I have a big freezer outside. And I keep usually breakfast items on top. But while we're in here, I need my peppers and onions for my meatloaf. I'm in the toilet. Here we go with this lady. Get ready for her dance for Mr. Santa. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, he's thinking, go home, lady. <laughs> Once a day like that. Oh, God, it's great. Uh, he said, Woo! He kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> she scared him. Okay, so we have one egg. I crack this, put the egg in there. Okay, there is the egg. I have peppers and onions. Peppers and onions. I love peppers and onions. Put them bad boys in there. I did defrost these. Because they're frozen, so I did defrost them a little bit first. And then I add bread. I'm going to add this much bread. Okay, I still have one piece of bread to go, but um, you don't want them too big, but not too small, because this is going to absorb juices and stuff. And Or you can use breadcrumbs. I just like using the bread. 
Coming over here to my oven. Yes, this is the oven I use. I do have a stove, but I've never, I haven't used my oven in about 10 years uh, because I love using this. So I'm going to go ahead and preheat this. We are going on bake right here. 350. I'm just going to say 25 minutes, but I'm going, I usually cook it for an hour, a little bit over an hour, but I'm just trying to get my oven preheated. So go ahead and do that. All right, I am going to be mashing this up with my fingers, so make sure you please do wash your hands with hands and soap. Water and soap. I'm going to go ahead and add in the ketchup, but first I'm going to mash this up with my fingers. My hands are washed, trust me. I'm going to mash this up, get it all stirred up, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my ketchup. All right, get it all mashed up. About to add the ketchup. Let me wash my hands first. So I added about that much ketchup. A tip I have learned, a tip I have learned of making meatloaf is if you do cook, because you can put so much stuff into meatloaf. I'm just going to do a basic plain one, but um, a little bit of ingredients. But if you put too much ketchup in here, it is going to come out very nasty. And I only say that because it's almost like I don't know, like the meat doesn't cook all the way and it's like mushy and I do not like mushy meat. Just a tip I've learned. Go ahead, mash this up. The reason why I washed my hands after I did this is because I didn't want the meat being all over my ketchup bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and mash this up. We'll move on to the next step of putting it in the pan. Here is my loaf pan and I'm going to go ahead and put this mixture into the pan. Okay. I just like to make it even. I want you to start by thinning up this wall on everything, everything. And then I'm gonna go over and wash my hands, and I'll be back. These movies are so funny. Just gonna lightly line it. And we're gonna pop it in the oven. And in the oven she goes. We have my salt potatoes over here. Still. Stir these bad boys up. And these baked potatoes. These are salt potatoes. I always get a vegetable, so let's figure out what vegetable we're having tonight. Carrots for the veggies. We'll be back when this is y'all done. Y'all want to see the finishing meatloaf? Head over to my TikTok. It's Big Blondie 0420. That is my TikTok name. Head over there to see the ending result. It is going to be yummy. Thanks, y'all. Please like this video. I'm going to be starting a cooking channel. Um, it's in process. So when I'm ready, I will give you guys that name. I hope you guys like my cooking videos. Please subscribe if you have not. Comment down below if you'd like. Hope y'all have a great night. Head over to TikTok. Big Blondie 0420.